and yep, you guessed it. I got my nose pierced. Yep. Uh, sorry to make a video yesterday. Uh, I was going to, but then I had to go to bed, so I had to put a little band-aid on it, and then, and then I couldn't show you. So I just decided to make one today. So let me explain to you. This is how you clean it. You just put the doctor. Dr. Pierce, that's what my stuff is, whatever your uh, piercer gives you, just go like this, put it on like that, and then just grab around. Take a bit, put it, blah, 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 blah. take a bit of time to do that. Uh, I've done this video like seven times, so I've cleaned it like seven times. <laughs> It'll be pretty clean. Um, also what you can use is, one second, okay, I'm back, with, um, this stuff. So what you can do is, so I use this Q-tip for my antibacterial stuff, and this is the dry part. Um, you can put a bit in a cap. You're only going to like need a little bit. And you can clean with an ooze. And usually there's fizzing, if there's anything, and you can just clean the inside of your nose with it. It doesn't hurt, it's just, um, it's just cleaning, and I just sprayed it on myself. I forgot there's some in the cap. Let me clean up. Okay, um... Yeah, so I was kind of scared to use this stuff, like, inside my nose and on, the, on the, my nose piercing. But then my, uh, my dad was like, you know what, it, it won't do anything. Like, it'll just clean it, like, completely. It, uh, I almost got an ear infection on my second ear piercing. I know it's bad because I lost this stuff. I lost it, and I couldn't find it, uh, so I only cleaned it once, and that's it, and it was starting to get red, it started to hurt, um, like, really bad pain, and I was like, oh, I don't want to call my piercer and stuff like that, I was like, no, I can just work this up, and my dad was like, just use this, and it worked perfectly, it was it's fine now. It used to be all red and it used to bleed and get brown stuff around it. Um, when I squeezed it, there was like pus coming out. I was like, I got really, really scared. Uh, but it's totally fine now. It's it only when once I used it for like a week, it was totally fine. It was all better. Like like this. It's been like this for like weeks, but before it was like gross and disgusting and. So, if you ever think you're about to get, or you have, an infection, use this. If this doesn't work, go to your piercer immediately. Um, I don't know, this is anti-infective and cleansing agent for wounds, cuts, and ab abrasions? Oh, I'm sorry, I probably mispronounced that. So... Just do, seriously, that was on both ears, and it was really, really bad, and I was really, really scared. So, okay, so I haven't cleaned these hoops in a while, so I'm just going to see if it foams for you guys. I'm going to try to get it to foam for you guys. I just need back, I just need some. You hear that? It's kind of foamy. There's a little bit of bacteria on that. And then you can just go like this. Put it in the cap that has stuff in it. And you can just place it in your ear. And then it'll clean the inside of your ear. Now 
now, perfectly clean, absolutely spotless. No bacteria should be inside your area right now. Um, ow, I just pinched myself instead of taking out the earring. Okay, so this one looks like it should have a bit of foam coming from it. Yeah, just a little bit. You see that? It look that looks like a lot, but it's not. But there's a bit of bubbles on it. A bit of bubbles. And just stick it on the, that part and at the end. And quickly before that dries out, place that in inside your ear. And sorry. This one is bent, so I need to clip properly. There you go. And if you hear fizzing, um, I said, I don't know, I'm, it just might be me. Blah, 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 blah. It might just be me, but I'd suggest keep doing it. You should only be, be have to do it, having to do it twice if it fizzes, um, because of the fact that you know, um, it shouldn't be fizzing. Uh, I know inside my nose, I heard a little bit of fizzing. That's because, you know, some of you are bigger it's inside your nose. It'll clean out those too. So, also, if you're about to go and get a new piercing, why don't you just do that? You know, because if you're embarrassed saying, oh my gosh, what if there's a booger in my nose? Uh, you can just do that, and now you have no boogers in your nose. Um... I have no boogers in my nose, and you know what I'm gonna do? I'm just I I don't have anything other than that. I have a little tiny scratch. So let's get a new cotton swab, and I still have this. Yeah, and don't pour it back into the bottle. Just saying. Um, so soak that. Place it on your cut. Hopefully, it'll... it's not foaming for me. I keep my hands very clean. But if you ever have a cut, just you can't even see it. It's so tiny; it's already cleaned. But There's clear on your nails. I'm just scared that there's bacteria underneath my nails. One second. Okay, so there, there's always bacteria underneath your nails. So I, I just cleaned. See that? Foamy. Bacteria gone. Gone. It. It's done. And so do it again. See that's what it looks like. I have mascara underneath my nail, okay? Don't judge me. Just... Let's watch it fizz. See that? Just fizz! Don't be thinking, oh my gosh, underneath your nails are absolutely disgusting because you will always have bacteria underneath your nails. So if you want to see, since my camera is really bad quality, if you want to see what bacteria and this stuff does go and do this to underneath your nails I guarantee you, you will get bubbles uh, no matter how much you clean your hands no matter how much you clean this um, you'll always unless you did this if you did this again it wouldn't do it so look underneath that nail completely bubbles that's just disgusting that makes me feel really gross So if you have any cuts, um, you know those cuts that you get around your fingers when you pull off, uh, when you pull off those things? No, I just found out. Look around my finger. It's foaming around my finger. Oh, you know that's from, that's from, uh, my cuts. So, all I had to do was just... 
shake it off. Okay. So around your finger, you know how sometimes those little things around your fingers, they will, they tear off, I forgot what they're called. Sometimes they'll leave bacteria, and my fingers are really clean. Okay, so if you have, don't wash your hands with this. This is only for like cuts and stuff like that, or piercings. Um, so just be careful. Um, do not put it inside your ear. Do not sniff it. Do not put it. Well, you can clean your tongue, like your tongue piercing, with it. It's only on cuts and stuff like that. Um, I wouldn't really suggest putting it in your mouth because it's not really edible. But, yeah. So, things. So, things I need for my nose piercing that you will need. If you're changing it, use this Vaseline as like a lubricant so you can just slide it in no pain um these spots band-aids i really 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 recommend this especially if you're getting a straight nose piercing uh take this open it and place it on your nose before you go to bed or if you're going swimming or if you're blah, 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 blah. so um, 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 um. 500 pack of cotton swabs, like five bucks. Excuse me. And of course, clean, clean. I don't know how much I can stress this, but clean your nose piercing. Oh my gosh. Some people, they don't do this, just like, oh, it looks fine. It's not even a red eye. Don't even have to clean it. Clean. Your nose piercing, okay? Clean your ear piercings. Clean all your piercings. Even if it's after a few years, at least do it like once a month or so because bacteria can build up and it can just get really, really gross, okay? So please, please clean your piercings, okay? I don't matter, it doesn't matter how old they are. Just clean them at least once a month or once a year or just clean it. If it's a new piercing like my nose is or my ears, clean it twice a day. At least for a year. Because it's going to be healing for like uh, a month and a half. So, might as well take care of it. I don't know. Some people are really stupid. Okay, well, bye. Oh, and if you guys have any questions about your nose piercings, if you're scared about getting your nose pierced, um, just leave a comment down below. I will definitely answer it. I'm going to be changing my nose pierce to a curved one, so I can still answer those questions. Um, I've researched everything. I know everything. Not everything. I'm not the smartest person in the world. I know a lot, so if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. I don't want you guys to get hurt if you guys do it the wrong way. Um, so yeah. Okay. Bye.